We've got our soil auger and our collection bucket. At Biomakers, we recommend zone sampling and collecting composites. So if you're collecting a composite sample, that means we're gonna collect multiple samples from a area, from a management zone, and we're gonna put it into one collection bucket and pull a sample from there. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. So this is our first core, and we're gonna take at least three of these cores uh, to make one composite sample. So this is sample one. We're gonna go in here and we are going down about six inches, 10 to 15 centimeters, and we're collecting our first core here. So we don't have too much debris on the top. We're gonna pull this out and here's our first core. In the same management zone, we're just gonna collect two more samples. And we're, we're trying to stay within the irrigation area, uh, within the, the tree root zone. So this will be the third core that we'll collect. Again, you can have up to 12 cores. So now we have, we have our composite sample, right? So we have a uh, collection here of three cores in one management zone that makes up our composite. So this is three different cores and we're going to homogenize it with a clean tool and mix it up so that all three of those cores are homogenized. Mm, it smells really nice. <laughs> the smell of soil is a good one. Okay, so now we've got this nice and homogenized and we're going to collect our one individual sample from this composite using a clean soil bag or a tube if you have your tubes directly, but a clean plastic bag is ideal so that we maintain soil condi conditions during shipping. So we have a, a clean soil bag here, Ziploc baggie, any type of plastic bag that'll keep the soil moist and not let it dry out. We don't need a whole lot, so we're just taking, we'll do about a half a cup. And that's really all we need for biology. If you're collecting a B crop plus sample where you want fertility and the biology portion, then we'll add a little bit more soil. We need enough to run the chemical analysis and the biological analysis. So now we've got uh, our subsample of the composite. We're gonna seal this up and take it back to the truck to subsample it with our sampling tubes before shipping. <laughs> 